Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to do a tutorial to show you how to utilize one of our newest Pretty Printables digital paper pack. Um, it's called our Simply Sensational Shops and it coordinates perfectly with one of our newest templates called Shop Around and Accessories Mega Template. Now in each shop collection you receive 10 different themed shops and they each come in two versions, a PNG version and a JPEG version. And I'm going to go through and explain the reasons for basically all of it. Now, as you can see, we're going to be using our pet shop today. And the first one I have is a PNG version. Now, if you notice the checkered background, that makes a lot of people nervous when they first pull it up. But don't be nervous. That just means the background is totally transparent. This type of version is great. It allows you to take this and layer it over patterned paper and things like that so that you can create, you know, an entire project from scratch. I will show you how this will layer onto some patterned paper in a little bit, and this is the format that we're going to utilize today. I'm going to put this one aside and I'll explain more about the PNG benefits later. Next we have the JPEG version. Now you may be wondering what's the difference with this one. This version cannot be layered onto pattern paper. As you can see it has a solid background. It's more meant for coloring in. And to give you an example of that I will show you how to do that. I already have green selected in my color palette so I'll just go with that. Um, this is not the type that you would want to print on pattern paper because it would come through all of your windows and things like that. It's just the type again that you would want to use from scratch. So I'm going to take my paint bucket and select my flood fill. And as you can see it colored my entire page. This is great for when you have a color scheme and you just want to kind of create and go. I would then you know, finish coloring this in and print it as is. I utilized this JPEG version when I created the coffee shop that is on our website for this particular paper pack sample. It is great, quick and easy, and you know, if you don't want to do any layering onto a textured digital background or a pattern paper, then the JPEG version is the quickest and easiest way to go. Now, the PNG version, I'm going to close out of this. The PNG version, as I said, has a transparent background. That means it's important that you fill in all areas. Anything not filled in will just pick up the color or pattern that you layer it onto. For instance, I'm going to go over and select, um, select white and use my flood fill. You're going to need to color in your shop window. Now it's a transparent background, so you'll need about three or four clicks to fill that in. Now as we zoom closer, you can see, I hope you can see anyway, that the O isn't filled in. If you put this onto a pattern background, the pattern would show through the O. So you do need to make sure that you take about four clicks and fill in any areas that you don't want a pattern or a color to show through. So you are going through and coloring basically every part of this particular version. You want to fill in your windows with whatever color you choose, um, things like that. Now another question we received when creating this file, um, many people said, oh my goodness, I thought it would just be black and white. Why is it black and red? Now we could have chosen any color to, you know, make these other elements. The reason we chose red is it's just more prominent, easy to see. And the reason for the dual, color, dual coloring is when you have an image that touches in any way and you go to change the color on it, the entire thing will change. And I will show you an example by clicking, let's see, I'll go with like a hot pink pink and I'll do my windowsill. Now you can see all the black pieces that touch. Anything that's connected when you go to change a color will change. Now there are certain elements of this that we figured you may not want to have the same such as your flower box. If you were to you know do your flower box and I'm gonna go to my eyedropper tool and pick up another color. Um, anyway if they were touching this would all change. 
I decided that I was going to utilize a patterned paper for my color scheme. This is a multi hearts paper that we released back in February. It's in our Critters with Hearts collection. And I did recolor this to fit the colors that I wanted for my project. And I often refer to my pattern paper to pick up colors for my projects if I'm digitally coloring them. This is the easiest way that you can get everything to coordinate and match perfectly, especially where all printers print differently. Sometimes if you were trying to match a certain color cardstock, it might not work. So I'm going to take my dropper tool, and as you can see, I'm going to pick up some green. I'm going to just minimize this back over and get over to my project and show you the difference for the red. Now here I am, I'm going to click on the grass. Now as you can see, just the grass changed. Had that been black, this entire piece would have changed. Um, and as I said, we definitely did not want that. So now I'm going to go back over, pick a pink, and come back over here, do my flood fill. And then I would basically go through this entire project and I basically just take one color and go along and do, you know, whatever I want. Let's just say I wanted my dog collars pink. Now you can see in here how, you know, everything, see, once something's sectioned off, that becomes a color. So you'd want to also fill the other side, just like so. And it does go pretty quick and easy once you get going. Again, the key is to make sure that you color in anything that you want filled in with color. Like the windows over here, um, you would definitely want to color the windows in because again, if you layered it onto a pattern paper, it would show. So as you can see, this is really fun and really easy. I am going to switch over to our second video so that I can better share with you some more possibilities for this paper. Um, that includes covering up unwanted items, layering it onto a patterned paper, and utilizing digital images with these files as well. So I hope you'll come right back.